Richard Curtis. What's up, what's up, what's up? Good luck today, guys. Three of the smartest teachers, and I know you can beat them today. Teachers, what's up? Good to see you, Mr. Furman and crew. Audience, what's up out there? Good to see everybody. Hey, welcome to the show to everyone at home. We're on the Apple. That can only mean one thing. I have three students. I have three teachers, and they're ready to go head-to-head. -head. Today, they're from Woodrow Wilson High School in Camden County, New Jersey. But today, everyone's hanging out with me in the classroom. Who's going to win this thing? I feel like I feel like I know, but we'll see what happens. We have 30 minutes to let it play out. Students against their favorite teachers. The crowd is here to see how it turns out. So what's up out there? Look, it's pep rally status for Woodrow Wilson. Winner take all, $500 cash to the winner. Bragging rights for eternity. They can win that back in the classroom. Let's do it. Pop quiz starts it off. your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, here we go, guys. Hands on buzzers. Let's do this thing. Question one. What is the name of the dragon constellation that shares a name with a Slytherin student in Harry Potter? Buzzer stays silent. We're looking for Draco. In October of 2019, the Philadelphia Phillies hired what former New York Yankees manager to lead the team? First one in, Mr. Furman. Joe Girardi. Good. How much would a 20% tip on a $50 restaurant bill be? First one in, Mrs. Cruz. Um, $2. For the steal, 20% on 50. Uh, 15. Buzz in, Julio. 15? You're looking for $10. Yeah, you're the Seine is the river that flows through which European capital? First one in, Mr. F. <laughs> Paris. Paris is right. What is the name of the Millennium Falcon's extremely tall and furry co-pilot and Han Solo's best friend? Mrs. Platt. Chewbacca. Chewbacca is right. Said it like Chewbacca might have. Here we go, students. Let's get this one for you. This one's worth double. We're going to make it an extra credit. On August 2nd, 1990, the forces of Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein invaded what oil-rich country? Julio. Iran. Incorrect. Teach us for the steal if you want it. Mr. Furman. Kuwait. Kuwait is right. A marble sculpture thought to represent Aphrodite and notable uh, for her missing arms is known by what name? Mrs. Cruz. Venus. Be more specific. <laughs> Students for the steal. Nobody wants it there. We were going the Venus de Milo. De Milo. The, oh, and that's going to be it for Pop Quiz. That sound means we're shutting it down. Teachers coming out on top. Lightning start for you. Students are right here playing along as we get things going. The students and teachers from Woodrow Wilson High School in Camden, New Jersey are here. They go by the Tigers. So, Tigers, let's meet you. What it do, baby boo? My name is Julio Rodriguez. I'm a current senior at Woodrow Wilson High School, and I'm a gamer, and I'm an aspiring music teacher. Hello, my name is Ismeralis Gonzalez. I am an artist. I'm a 10th grader, and I'm in the SAVE program. For those who don't know, SAVE is Students Against Violence Everywhere. Hello, my name is Jacque Stanley. Um, I go to Woodrow Wilson High School. I'm in 10th grade. I play football. Hi, I'm Mr. Furman. I'm a math teacher at Woodrow Wilson High School. I'm a Mets fan living in the suburbs of Philadelphia, and I'm ready to win. Hey, Platt here, and I'm special ed teacher at Woodrow Wilson, and we're gonna rock these kids. Hello, I am Miss Cruz. I'm the best bilingual science teacher in the world, and I have just two words for the students. No mercy. All right, teachers in the lead, 50 points to nothing over the students. But students, we're going to give you guys a chance to get things jump-started. Julio, you're the team captain for the students today. You feeling confident that you can come back at today? Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah, so listen, i got to be honest with you. I've never had a detention in my life. Have you ever had one? No. Do you want to get one right now? No. Well, then let's play! <laughs> 
Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay. Students, let's kick this off here. I'm going to give you your category. You decide whether you want to play or pass on history. That's where we're at here. We'll play. What naval battle, which took place six months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, inflicted devastating damage on the Japanese fleet and is widely considered a turning point in the Pacific War? You guys can talk about it. That's the thing I'm more. Answer. Um. You know say. Oh, you're looking for Battle of Midway right there. Would have been the right one. So teachers are shaking their heads because they know they are safe on this round. But Julio is Morales and Jaquay, one of you is not. You want sent? You pick Pat. Jaquay. Jaquay, he's closest <laughs> to the tension and now he's out of there. My man's in 10th grade. Big time football star. He takes a seat in detention. Okay, we go back to the teachers. Here we go. Your category is a math. We'll play. We'll play. What is the mean of five, six, and ten? Seven. Berman said with confidence over there. He's loving it. <laughs> Seven is right, and uh-oh. Who's it gonna be? We got you two students left. Julio. <laughs> Out of the game, team captain. Okay. Marilis, you are squeezing that teddy bear pretty tight. You have your own personal... Uh, t t is that the team mascot? Yes, it is. All right, is that bringing you good luck today? I'm feeling... It could bring you good luck. <laughs> well, hopefully this next question will be all the luck you need right here. Here's your category. It's celebrities. If you don't love it, toss it to the teachers. If you want to take it, take it. I think I'll take it. Here we go. Clary Frey from the TV show Shadow Hunters and Sonia from the Maze Runner movies are played by what actress? Uh, I think. You don't want to get it? I don't the answer was Cat McNamara. Uh, it was on the tip of your tongue. You said it, but you just didn't put it out there. You have to go to detention. Take the teddy bear with you, though. Teachers, you're up 90 points on the game right now on a roll. Students are going to look to stop that roll next because they're going to grab their paintbrushes and they're going to paint the best pictures they can. Our class is next. Who's going to be up? Stay tuned. We'll find out. Tell you what, the school comes with their own mascots. Izzy, you're playing with your mascot. We got mascots out here dressed as I. You guys look awesome. But how about this? I got to talk to the principals making it all happen. What's your name? Rebecca Cruz Guy. And? Herb Simons. All right, so what makes your school so special? Because I'll tell you what, you guys have a lot of spirit. Mm -hmm. Our diversity and that we are a community school. All right, and your sports programs aren't too bad either. Well, tell me about that. Number one, football, state champs. Let's go! Hey, don't play football against them. Take them to the classroom. Look, teachers, students, we're playing. Our class is next. Izzy, I'm coming for you. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right. We're gonna start with the trailing team. Is Morales, here we go. Is it red or is it blue? 
red. She should take red. You stand back here, open that card up. Okay. Now look, I've heard from some people in the audience that you are a pretty good artist. The question is, can you draw quickly? So you have five seconds. You ready? Yep. Starts right now. She can draw quickly. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? One guess. Let's do it. I will. Purse. A purse is right. <laughs> All right, that's going to get you up to 30 points. All right, nicely done. Hey, talk about artistry. You just rocked that thing. All right, so good. We're going to bring out our teacher now. We're going to switch it up. They got a 30 points. That's huge, Mrs. Cruz. I give you this card. You stand back here and open that up. And I'm going to give you this marker. And that's what you're drawing. You ready? Yes. Okay, I'll take that card. Starts now. Okay, here we go, guys. Sunflower. Sunflower. For 30 points, a sunflower is right. 120 to 30. Both sides grab that 30 points. Hey, let's finish this up with a little extra credit. All right, I'm ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. Correct answer here is 10 points. Let's do this thing. What is the term for the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere? Ooh, tough little science question today. Hope you have it right. You play along at home, and we'll play right here. But when we come back, the classroom continues, and we got a game on our hands. Woodrow Wilson High School from Camden County. Teachers in the lead, 120 points to 30 points. But we mixed in a little extra credit and we asked this question. What is the term for the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere? Julio, we start with you, my main man. We went with what is crust? Digging the smiley face you added on there. It's positive, man. Teachers, what'd you say? We said exosphere. Good guess. Incorrect. We're looking for the corona right there as the outer layer. All right, students, so let's play along here. $500, a big old check gets put in your trunk. What are you going to do with it? Well, uh, uh, $500 go to the students. We're going to put it towards a bus for our Wildwood trip coming on later. Oh, in nice. Year. You guys just headed down to the beach hanging out? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best field trip of all time. So the whole school goes down, everybody rocks on the beach, and hopefully that bus will get paid for. I got to ask you, though, when you go on a trip like that, you said in your intro, uh, you, most people just say, hi, I'm not you. You said, what it do? Baby boo. <laughs> All right, so who is, where do you get something like that? Uh, Snoop Dogg. Oh, man. It's yeah. a hey, well, that worked. I liked it. And the best intro I've seen in a long time. So Julio and team, good luck. 500's on the line. Teachers, how yes. about you guys? What are you going to do if you win it? We're going to put the money towards our teacher student activity fund um, for education and fun for all the students. Nice. I'd rather have the bus to Wildwood, but I'm not, I'm not picking. Look, music class is next, everybody. Here we go. We're singing our way to the finals here. Grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then you know him, you love him. He brings that morning sunshine to your rituals. It's Mike Jarrett from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that song, or excuse me, the question, is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, though, be very careful because if you get it incorrect, your whole side is locked out, and a member from the other side can jump in and steal that question right out from under you. We have three sets of lyrics today, and we start with this question. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2019 song? Mike, I'm just looking at this. You should, you should be good to go. All right, here we go with the first one. Seasons change, and our love went cold. Feed the flame. Because we can't let go. Run away, but we're running in circles. Run away, run away. First one in, Julio. Post Malone circles. Post Malone circles is right. How about it? You're just giving us all sorts of answers up here. <laughs> all right, it's going to get you up to 40 points. And I give you this next question before I toss it to Mike. What female performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 song? Mike, this might be about us. Here's your next one. 
Maybe it's your love. It's too good to be true. Baby boy, your love got me tripping on you. Oh, I wish I had a buzzer right now, because I will be buzzing in. Ms. Marillas, you got it. I would say, Selena Gomez, I need to hate you to love you. Incorrect. Teachers for the steal if you want it. Otherwise, we move on. The answer, Ella May was who we were looking for. And Mike, that was about us, pal. No points awarded. We stay right there. And now we finish with this final question. What former boy band member sings these lyrics in his 2016 debut solo single? Okay, here's your last one. If the whole world was watching, I'd still dance with you. Drive highways and byways to be there with you. Over and over, the only truth, everything comes back to you. Only need the performer here, Mrs. Cruz. I'm just going to guess Justin Timberlake. That's a great That's guess. He sings just about everything but incorrect. Students for the steal if you want it. Uh, Julio. Harry Styles. I mean, you're getting there. Niall Horan was the answer, so no points awarded. And that is it. 120 over here. Points for the 40 over on this side. Both teams have a chance to win this thing as we wrap it all up with final exam. Let's play. Okay, here's your topic today. It's all about America, North, South, and Central. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams, good luck. You guys will work together during the commercial break. Here are your questions. Good luck. Name two of the seven countries located in Central America. The tropical isthmus that connects North America to South America. Name two of the seven countries. Sayulita, Mexico is featured in the music video for South of the Border, a 2019 song collaboration between Cardi B, Camila Cabello, and what other artist? Finally, Buenos Aires is the capital of what South American country? All right, those are your questions. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock to come up with the answers. Will it be the students who are down right now, 120 to 40, or will the teachers hold on to win this thing? Furman and the crew, they say they got this in the bag. Come back after the commercial, because when we do, we crown a champion and we give them a big old check. You don't want to miss it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Teachers from Woodrow Wilson High School going head to head. How about this? Teachers, you're in the lead right now. 120 points on the board to the students. You got 40 points. You're playing a good game, though. And we got the lucky mascot in the mix. Izzy, does that does that have a name at all? I think I'll call it Tigress. Tigress is a nice choice for you. I like that. Now, Mrs. Cruz, you're in the lead. $500 could be headed back. But I've been loving what your principal said about your spirit in your school. You guys are having, what makes your students the best? They are the best because they're ours and we love them. Yeah, no, you're not yes. kidding. Well, how about it? You guys are about to take them here to final exam. The topic, America, North, South, and Central. Before the break, I asked both teams three questions. Now, don't forget, squads, all right? Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Let's see you ace this thing because somebody is walking back with $500. That check might not fit in your car. Let's see if we can give it to you. Name two of the seven countries located in Central America, the tropical isthmus that connects North America to South America. All right. We're gonna go over to our students. Jaquay, you been uh, you been anywhere in uh, in that part of uh, town? No. Okay, so <laughs> hopefully you guys have been learning about it, Jaquay. Let's see if we can name some countries here. Name two of the seven. Let's see your answer. I have no answer. Incorrect, okay. Hold right there. Let's see if the teachers did any better. We have Panama and Costa Rica. 
That is correct. Two of the seven we would have accepted. I also would have done Belize, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and obviously Panama and Costa Rica. That sounds like a nice place to go visit. But teachers, that gets you some serious points on the board, and you guys can win it. You have 220 points. Let's see how you do with this next question. Sayulita, Mexico is featured in the music video for South of the Border, a 2019 song collaboration between Cardi B, Camilla Cabello, and what other artist? All right. Teachers, let's see what you guys had to say first. Mrs. We Platt? say Bruno Mars. If that is correct, you win the game, and $500 is yours. Incorrect, and we continue. Here we go, students. Keep this thing alive and send it to this final question. If you get this wrong, the game is over. Julio, you're smiling. I think they have this one. Let's see what you said. I said Jay Balvin. Incorrect. Ed Sheeran was the answer, and teachers win the 500 and today's game. Come on out here and grab that check. Hey, Buenos Aires is the capital of what South American country? A place we all want to go. It's Argentina. Hey, students played a great game today. Hope you guys had a good time. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. Give them the intro again. What is it? Oh, what it do, baby boo? What it do, baby boo?